I'm building this so I can put an outrigger on my kayak so I can go in a little bit rougher water, I'll be a little more stable, maybe I'll be able to stand up, and I can attach a trolling motor to my kayak and make it so I have to paddle a little less. And a little less paddling time, a little more fishing time, that's a win-win for me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so basically I cut out all these templates. Okay, and I'm just going to use liquid nails to glue them all together. Then I'm going to square them up and let them dry and then we're going to go from there. So I want to make sure that I stay away from the edge of my template so whenever I sand them I won't run into glue with my sander because then it will get all gummed up and be a lot harder to go through than just foam would be. So I'll get that going now. <laughs> Now I don't believe you could see, but I am starting to work my way back with the liquid nails because if I go too far forward, I'm going to taper that just like the front of a boat is going to be angled like so. And if I go too far forward, I'm going to hit it when I sand it. Hopefully it turns out. Now that doesn't look square. I'm using this little foam block as a template. So I'm actually going to square this up. The floor that I'm on is relatively square. Now it's probably not super necessary that this thing's square. But it definitely doesn't hurt. It probably would be better if I was using a legitimate square to do this. But then again, I am working on a wrestling mat right now, so I'm not too concerned. Plus, there's going to be so much more left into the shaping process that it doesn't have to be super square just helps. Give it a last press here. And now we wait. See if it comes out alright, if it glues together. I have hope because it seems like it's holding and I know they do use liquid nails to glue this to walls. Because this is basically insulation. So, it should hold pretty good. We'll see. Hopefully it holds good for my sake. So, alright. I went after this with the hacksaw. Nothing fancy. I don't have a hot wire to cut foam. So, I'm just using sandpaper, a file, and a hacksaw. So I started shaping this. I didn't video it. I took some still pictures though. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing. I have my center line. And what I'm doing is I'm taking my hacksaw and I'm 
keying off of that center line and the edge of this pontoon. So I'm going down into it, cutting it along that line and the side of the pontoon, and then I'm going at it from the side and shaving off sections now. Alright, so I just finished shaping, and I think it came out pretty good first time doing this, so I think it came out relatively good. I still need to sand it. After I sand it, I guess the next stage would be filling all the little pockets and mess-ups that I did. With Bondo, I think I'm going to go with. We'll see. That may change. But as of right now, I'm going to finish it with Bondo. Sand it. And then we're going to fiberglass it. Okay. How do I want to word this? <laughs> So after drying, the middle of the cot. Ah! And I can add it. More fishing time. That's a win-win for me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it.